Hey guys, this is my Honda HS828 snowblower. Um, it didn't uh, come with heated hand grips. And uh, I've made a video before of uh, my heated hand grips, but um, it was kind of a bad video. So here it is again. This is uh, the kit. It's uh, for anything power sports, you know, dirt bike, motorcycle, ATV, snowmobiles, whatever. Comes as a full kit, comes with the heated hand grips and um, uh, relay switch. All you gotta do is connect power and ground. Um, this is the actual hand, hand grip here. And um, I wanted to reuse my old grips on here because the new ones um, have a lip on it. So when you went to go down and pull the chute or the drive, uh, it catch on this lip and I don't really like cutting this out and notching it. So I worked my way out. This thing is glued on. I did take this one off. But I put it back on just to show you. I used a screwdriver and slowly worked it out. I did use some WD-40 and uh, you know, try to be extra careful. I did put a pair of channel locks on this and it kind of ripped it. So um, yeah, don't use channel locks. Just try and work it out with a flat screwdriver, something long and thin that you can break all the glue off. And uh, what's it called? And then just do the same for the so other side. the switch for on and off. Has a high and low setting. Um, also comes with a handlebar attachment or an auxiliary piece if you want to mount it somewhere else on this and it comes with the inline fuse and it's just plug and play so um so this was the original right and uh, i cut this one out because like i said i'm reusing the old handlebars so i slowly sliced it away and because it is a soft rubber it's easy to cut with a knife and um, pull it apart and all you do is take these this tape they are off and uh, you attach it to your snowblower and then re-put the handlebars back on. All right guys, so after getting my screwdriver in and working, working it out, I was able to break all the glue out, get the handle, clean it off. Just clean it off, because I did spray some WD-40 in there. And then, um, what's it called? Here's the original handle. Um, and here is the heated grip so what I did was because it's just uh, tape with a metal filament inside of it all you gotta do is find the beginning of the tape and peel it off the handlebars like this I don't know if you guys can see it here Okay, and then you just figure out where or how far you need to be and then start it from there. So in this case, and then just reattach this. Now you want the wires underneath, that way there's no hang up on the, on the chute and the drive. And then you just rerun this back over this bar. Just like that. And then you take your original boot after you cleaned it and you just slide it, it over. Now because this is tape, it should stay 
and uh, you should be able to just give it a couple taps and just or work it on. I find tapping it is a little easier. And then if you get a snag, just fix it. Okay, so I just finished all the wiring. The hand grips are all in, and uh, the cables run down past this plate. And then I zip tied it here, and uh, everything's taped up and zip tied. Then same thing on this hand grip. And then what I did here was on this, there's a cable throttle. I, I did the change out bracket, and um, I sliced it here you can see it and I slid it over and then I screwed it down so that gives it out of the way you know nice place to to put it and then the battery cable I mean uh, the cable that goes to the battery or I could use the um, the light wire that comes off of the stator here which is tucked away see it here. This is actually for the light. It's, I could use that but um, I'm actually going to run an auxiliary battery because I'm going to do the electric uh, motor uh, chute and uh, I'm going to encase it and plug all this in and get it all done in one shot.